So Nintendo and Game Freak don't have clear material anywhere fully explaining how this Pokeball Plus device works, and the Nintendo and Pokemon YouTubers I've searched want you to watch through 8 minutes of their graphics and poor game show hosting to only receive a fraction of the information. I'm going to respect your time as someone who just wants to have fun with the $100 that you just spent. First, we'll talk about how to use it with Pokemon Go, then we'll talk about how to use it with Pokemon Let's Go. Pokemon Go is simple once you hear a full explanation of what the flashing colors mean. When you're near a Pokemon, it vibrates and flashes green a few times. In order to throw a Pokeball at it, you press the button at the top of the Pokeball that is red, not the joystick. Then it flashes white. This is like when the Pokemon is moving around inside of the Pokeball before you know it's caught. It'll flash like that a couple of times. And then when it's caught, it will flash multicolored. When it's not caught, it will flash red. And in a third circumstance where the Pokemon busts out of the Pokeball and you have the opportunity to throw another one to catch it, it flashes yellow. You may then hit the top button again to throw another one and watch the sequence go again. With Pokeball Plus, you automatically loot Pokestops. So when you pass one, it will flash blue two times and then flash white. It'll vibrate as well, just letting you know. For Pokemon Let's Go, you can send one of your Pokemon into your Pokeball Plus for a stroll. You'll find the option in the save menu after you pair your ball with your Switch and follow the prompts. That tutorial wasn't hard to find on YouTube. So your Pokeball ships in what's called Mute Mode. Once your Pokemon is in the Pokeball, you can wake it up by pressing in on the white joystick and maybe holding for a little bit. It should flash yellow. Give the ball a shake and you hear the Pokemon talk. If you don't hear anything, your ball is in Mute Mode, which it should be by default. To turn that off, you press and hold both buttons and it should vibrate, indicating that it was turned off. Give it another shake and you'll hear the Pika Pika. Enjoy. Tutorials should be this straightforward by now.